I'm Amy Cherry. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow ya. An elderly Palm Coast man is dead in a small plane crash. The crash happened in a wooded section of Nassau County Monday afternoon. Nassau County deputies say the 73-year-old pilot was the sole person on board the kit-built aircraft. No other damage was caused by the crash. The cause of the crash remains under investigation. The Flagler County Commission puts a hold on a developer's proposal to bring more than 300 homes along John Anderson Highway. They voted unanimously at a marathon meeting to table a proposal put forth by Ken Belshi for the gardens community. Flagler County Commissioner Donald O'Brien. I am having a hard time not come to the conclusion that there's not an adverse impact here, but I'll accept the table motion. I'll vote in favor of the table motion so maybe we can get out on the table what additional items we need to go through with the developer. Flagler County Commissioner Dave Sullivan had a number of concerns about the project. I want to hear a lot about water management. I want to hear about traffic because that really concerns me. And I want to nail down the reuse water. What's the deal on that? Why can't we just do that? Flagler Beach City Commissioner Jane Mealy weighed in on the water reuse issue. We cannot say that we're going to give the gardens reuse water when we don't have the means. I talked to you before about we're raising our utility rates 10% a year, and that's to maintain what we've gotten and to fix what we've got. It's going to be a long time before we get to build the reuse plant. Flagler County Commissioner Craig Hansen compared the project to another that's led to flooding. The development up north, because of the rules, the zoning rules and the building rules, they built the new houses two feet higher than the existing houses. So now the existing houses flood, and that's what you're going to do. You're going to comply and you're going to build those homes, and they're going to be elevated. And the water's going to run to Palm Drive. It's going to run to every other place that surrounds you. So your water management is just crap. This is what's going to happen. We've seen it. This commission right here got burned on that community up north. Our fault. We let the developer talk us into, oh, I'm not going to flood the neighbors. No. And they did. And you're going to do it. The garden's proposal will be discussed again at a meeting in mid-October. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Rich Carroll. The illegal use of a device resulted in two arrests by the Flagler County Sheriff's Office. Karen Johnson reports. What began as a helicopter search for a person who fled a traffic stop on Palm Harbor Parkway in Palm Coast turned into the arrest of 60-year-old Gregory Marr for pointing a green laser at the Air One helicopter crew. Flagler County Sheriff Rick Staley. Uh, That is a felony in Florida. You can cause a crash by blinding the pilot. Then Air One returned to the search on the traffic stop. And apprehended that individual also with the assistance of Volusia County Sheriff's helicopter. Air One located the suspect and guided FCSO deputies to the spot where he was lying in the wood line near a retention pond. 36-year-old Jeff Thomas was taken into custody and charged with driving while license suspended, fleeing and eluding, resisting arrest, and loitering and prowling. Thomas remains in the Sheriff Perry Hall inmate detention facility on a $4,500 bond. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. There was Joe Mullen's apology on Monday, and throughout the week we learned more about the Flagler County Commissioner. Today, what would be different? Mullen says that he wants people focused on governing again. He said the county commission is not there to entertain, but to do a job. We're decision makers for the county, and I wanted to get the focus back on what big things, what great things this county's happening. For the first time in Flagler County's history, we're getting more federal money back than we ever have before. For that, Mullins credits the commission as a whole and the staff. And about himself, Joe Mullins says... What will change about me? Probably not much. I'm going to probably be the same me. I'm going to say things I very seriously doubt I'm going to finish my life not regretting something that I said or didn't do or did do. Mullins agrees that he will never say he's done apologizing. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. A phased reopening of the Palm Coast Community Center will begin next week. John Arking has the details. Palm Coast Parks and Recreation will open the community center to the public beginning Monday, September 28th, with normal operating hours of Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. resuming at that time. The reopening will take a phased approach, according to Brittany McDermott, the community recreation manager for the city of Palm Coast. We have been very diligent in our safety plans and putting some protective measures together so that we can reopen safely. And we are very excited to be able to open these services up to the community again, but in a safe manner. So we have a new one-way entry and exit. Uh, Guests will have to be 
temperature screened and have a brief medical questionnaire. We do ask that they wear masks when they are inside the facility. As far as uh, the phased portion, we are looking at starting some limited select programming, but we are working with what we're calling focus groups and reaching out to some previous program participants to come in in small select groups and run through the procedures and give us some feedback and just make sure that we can move forward with some programming as we continue to be open. McDermott says they have worked with local health officials, the fire department, and city leaders to make sure all safety precautions are in place. She says they have had the tennis center and golf course open since May and are utilizing many of the same safety procedures in place there, but have added others as well since the community center is an indoor facility. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm John Arking. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Amy Cherry.